We're going to continue with our zoo example and this time we are going to begin to show the inheritance. If you remember back at the beginning we talked about the fact that we were going to work with superclasses and subclasses and we have not done that yet and that's what these next few videos are going to demonstrate. We have already talked about the idea that we are going to have a superclass of animal and then two subclasses, mammal and reptile. We did not talk about what their class diagrams might look like. The class diagram for the animal we are looking at again, and I did add one method, and that's a get info method, kind of like a report, like an end of the day or end of the week report on the zoo is what that's going to be used for. The mammal class is not going to have any more instance fields added. So this part of our class diagram is going to be left blank. But we do have a constructor that takes in two arguments. It will be the name and the initial, let's see if I go back, an initial await. And it will have a destructor. We will have a feeding method for the mammal, a speaking method, and a get info method. Our reptile will have one additional instance field and that's going to be temperature because we need to monitor the temperature to make sure that the reptile is healthy and that we might need to change its environment. It will have a constructor that has name and it'll be weight and then double and this comma here needs to be deleted. A destructor, we will be able to change the temperature we will also have special feeding rules for the reptile. We will have a get total food method, speak, and get info as well. Some of these we might revise as we go along depending on how all of this shakes out.